In this presentation, we are going to create a flash banner for a website. In the first part, we will add a graphic, make it into a symbol, and create a tween that will fade the graphic in when the file first opens. So to start with, we're going to create a new flash file, ActionScript 3.0. The default is that the stage is 550 by 400 pixels. We're going to edit that to make it the size of our website banner. In our case, we're going to make it 900 pixels wide and 200 pixels tall. We will leave the frame rate at 24 frames per second and we will click OK. So the first thing we do is import the image and the image should already have been prepared using either Photoshop or Fireworks or some e other editing program. I have mine saved on my hard drive so I will go to file, import and I will import to stage since I only have one image to import here. The import to stage dialog box opens and um, because I've already been here it's opening to the folder that my image is in but if yours doesn't open automatically you need to search for your folder find the image that you have saved for this purpose and click import so there's my image my job now is to make this image fade in at the beginning of my flash file so the first thing I have to do is make it into a symbol to do that I'm just going to click on the image on the stage and then go up to modify and convert to symbol. I'm going to leave it as a movie clip and I'm going to call it background. Click OK and now I have as you can see right here an instance of background on the stage because it's a symbol I can animate it so I am going to add some time to my timeline I'm going to add a hundred frames by going to frame 100 and I am going to right click and do insert frame that gives me a hundred frames of time on my timeline so now you can create the tween so that you can create the animation so anywhere inside the timeline that you've just created in between frames 1 and 100 you right click and you do create motion tween so now frames 1 through 100 are ready for some movement now I want to fade my image in here so I'm going to go to frame 24 I want this animation to last one second as it comes in or fades in so if I just click on the image on the screen, just move it like one pixel and back again, it creates a keyframe here on frame, well it looks like I'm on 25. And so I can now go to the motion editor, which is right next to the timeline tab here. Click on motion editor and I'm going to extend this up a little bit so you can see this. And I am going to go down here and I'm going to go color effect and I'm going to add an alpha effect and because I've already done this before my alpha effect comes in at the amount of zero percent that's what I wanted so that the image is has disappeared from the stage now to in order to add the effect that I want I need to come over here to frame 25 in the motion editor and I need to add a keyframe here in this alpha section here. And to do that, I'm going to click this little button right here. It says add or remove keyframe. I'm going to do that. And you'll notice that a little square happens here. That's a keyframe and it only affects the, um, the alpha or color effect channel here. Now I change the amount to 100 percent and we can see if we play the movie that this will fade in at the very beginning 
Now it plays for 100 frames, it goes away and it fades in again. And we'll get to stopping the animation in a future movie. But that's how you add an alpha effect or a fade in at the beginning of your flash file. So now all I have to do is save this file. I'm going to call it banner.fla save. So now I have my banner all started here and in the next video I will show you how to animate the text that comes in as well.